Geeks here with my first in the uh, Polymer AR15 80% receiver videos, video reviews that is. Uh, first we have, this is the G150 from Polymer 80. Thank you Lauren for sending these out. First I'm going to show you the Gen 1 G150s and then I'll show you the Gen 2 and the changes made therein. get the thing open. <laughs> okay. Sorry about the wait. Here we go. This is the Generation 1 G150. And let's see what we got here. Okay. Okay. First off, this bag is awesome. It's got some some type of adhesive on it that is unbelievable. It's really well made, heavy duty. Okay, here we go. First off, we receive the nice little Polymer 80 sticker. Okay, let's see. Here we have here we have the uh, paper. It shows the uh, contents and some websites to show where you can go for warranty information, return policy, terms and conditions. And according to this, you receive one AR-15 lower receiver, G150, one set screw for the bolt catch pin, 3 millimeter, one dowel pin for the bolt catch, 5 8 one pistol grip nut, 3 8 inch, uh, one pistol grip screw, 1.5 inch, one Allen wrench, 1 16th, the AR-15 jig called J150, the end mill and stop collar for the fire control pocket is a 7 16th end mill. You get a drill bit for the trigger pin hole which is a 5 16th, drill bit for the safety switch hole which is a 3 8 drill bit, drill bit for the pinholes for the trigger and hammer which is a 5 30 seconds drill bit and the screws for tightening the jig you get six of those okay set that aside and here's the bag we have the drill bits and the uh, end mill with the stop collar which is very handy Okay, here's the Allen wrench, uh, pistol grip screws, and the bolt catch pins, and it looks like he's included an extra one. Okay, and there are the screws for the jig. Okay, let's check this out. Here's the jig. Very nicely made. High quality. Looks pretty good. Looks like the the uh, holes to hold it together have a nice step on them so that you that there's no alignment issues. And you can see here these are pre-drilled to put this put the jig together. You have to excuse my hands. I have muscular dystrophy and I don't have the dexterity I used to have. Okay, and here's the receiver. It's got a uh, slightly glossy finish, and I really like how uh, he uses a square nut here. Uh, some of them have, you just drill directly into the polymer, or actually screw directly into the polymer, which I don't really like uh, because you can have issues, and if it ever strips, you're kind of screwed, and you would have to use a Healy coil or something to that effect. And you can see there, that I've got the light on, so it may, you may see a little reflection, but it does actually have a gloss to it and then here are your markings the polymer 80 symbol AR15 G150
Okay. And now we will take a look at the Generation 2 G150. Give me just a moment. Okay. I've actually opened this one already to take a quick peek. And let's see what we got in here. Huh. Again, there's the jig and the paper. hardware and I like this he's actually included on the uh, newer units he includes a fire control uh, the, actually the trigger pocket uh, jig and you see here it fits right down inside it's got a let's see I'll show you here it's got a it's got a little step right here right there so it aligns and if you look it just snaps right down inside and that allows you to use uh, I believe the 3 8 uh, inch bit and uh, drill directly through now let's open this up and see what else has changed on the generation 2 aha uh -huh. here we go uh, now overall the uh, the uh, uh, receiver looks pretty much the same with the exception that now if you look right here if you look the old one had a red material that the uh, jig or that the uh, receiver was molded around and if you notice this one is actually solid you can even see the mold line right here in the middle so this is a solid material as opposed to the older style which give me a moment if you look here the uh, first generation G150 has the red pocket which I guess uh, uh, Lauren told me he didn't have any issues with the ATF really uh, he just went ahead and changed this uh, because as you know I mean this meets all the criteria for an 80% receiver but just to keep them from coming back and having any issues he went ahead and molded this as a solid piece now and uh, I did do some work on one before and it uh, it's a very hard material the end mill I mean it's a really nice end mill that comes with the unit uh, actually it looks like here they have changed the end mill as well a little bit uh, the uh, end mill I showed you before had a stop collar and it doesn't look like this one has one comes in a nice little carrying case which that's that's very really good or protective case I, would, I guess you would call it uh, as you can see here this one rather than having the stop collar actually has a line that has been uh, milled into the mill to uh, sh as an indicator to show you how far to go in the jig which that I guess that's pretty handy too uh, myself I prefer the stop collar so that'll be the one I'll probably use but if I'm using a milling machine I don't suppose it'll matter but right now I'm using a drill press to complete these so you have a little more issue uh, doing doing this on a drill press. Again, here's the Generation 2 G150 AR15 receiver from Polymer 80, and I would like to thank Lauren from Polymer 80 for sending me these great units to review. And uh, stay tuned at another time, and we will have an actual completion review for you all to see. This is Guns and Geeks telling you to keep your eyes open and your powder dry.